I just want to celebrate another day of living. I just want to celebrate another day of life. Probably seen footage of, of uh, you know, historical footage of great bands, um, and some of which may not be together anymore because of the personalities. Uh, they just got too self-important, and their way was the only way. Um, apparently, the bands that stick together and, and do well are the ones that realize there's not just their way to do it. You understand? It won't clear. So, right, we're not so, actually uh, going to play until he sings. Correct? Wrong. So, wrong. <laughs> well, I had, we had one rehearsal that was close to the end. I think it was in the last week. We're off. It also happened to coincide on a night that um, I had, it was Murphy's Law, I had all sorts of technical difficulties. The printer didn't get the charts printed correctly. See, here's part of the problem. This is what they give most guitar players. Um, then I tried printing them last minute at home and ran out of ink. It was that kind of night. Uh, it was a very important rehearsal. And uh, I arrived late, so I was frazzled. And uh, um, the, I'm listening to the guys play the, the charts down, and I'm going, this isn't working. Bar 13, you guys have a hit. This is, I can't get up in front of an audience and do these songs. The band is gonna fall apart. And I don't think they realized just how um, demanding it was. Maybe it wasn't the last, la it was, certainly wasn't the last rehearsal, but I think it was one of the last ones, and they hadn't rehearsed with me in a while. That was a five bars this from is, before, so it's gotta be. This is three bars, this is the fourth, three bars and the fourth. That'll all work. I, I don't wanna go there. I don't wanna, if, if it works for you. <laughs> I went home, on the ride home, I, I went, drove with my eyes glazed over. I said, this is, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I wonder if I can get out of this concert. There were some stressful times, a lot of stressful times. Um, it just seemed like the time crunch, that was the thing that just kept, like, like you're in a room and the walls are closing in on you. It's just, we were getting closer to that date, January 22nd, and we had to have those seats filled. So um, we were all feeling the stress of that time crunch, getting those tickets sold by that date. And Tommy was feeling uh, that, but he was also feeling the stress of, is this band ready? Hey. Charts that you may or may not have had. I think you took part, some of you took parts and made corrections. It was, there were times when I felt that maybe we weren't going to get there. Now we're good for tomorrow if we need it. We're okay. I can't do it. You can't do it, okay. Wednesday? Wednesday's okay. Thursday's no good. Wednesday's no good, and Wednesday's no good, and Wednesday's no good. I think we were, to put on a concert, we were the most unrehearsed for the kind of music that we had and how much music we had to do. To be able to pull it off in, what, four rehearsals was astounding. Hey, listen, I play this song okay, go every, 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 almost every month, every day of my life. <laughs> the way that it feels right, it's got to be... Bah, 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 
miracle that they pulled it off. I mean, they had, um, I think, tw 17 songs that they were putting together, and this band had just been formed. They hadn't performed uh, anywhere yet. Uh, so just through the process of Tommy organizing the band, Martin Hand directing the music, uh, and having two or three or four rehearsals. It wasn't a lot of rehearsals, but during that time, these guys had such talent from their previous experiences that they were able to do it. Martin was really busy uh, making sure everybody was on cue. That wouldn't normally have to be the case, but again, we had such short notice uh, to put this concert together and so few rehearsals. Uh, there were a lot of things. This wasn't just count the song off and play. This is a uh, very special song for us. I had the most arguments with the band with. Um, a song you're familiar with. There was a lot of stops. There was a lot of, there was key changes. There was time changes. You remember Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? Well, they did it in what's called 3-4 and 4-4, but we weren't to be outdone, so we added 7-8 and 9-8 to that, which just means don't try to dance to it or you'll fall down. <laughs> this is a little strange, but we're going to try to make it work for you. Right, boys? You know what? Everybody, everybody took an extra step forward and made it happen and helped me out because it wasn't all their fault. Um, uh, a lot of it was my own fault and the way um, I had set it up for them. And it made it difficult for them to read the parts and to make it their own. All of a sudden, they realized how important it is we have a concert in a week. And they all, they all rallied. Powers! Keep on lying! While your people, they keep on dying! So glad that I knew more than I knew then But I'll keep on trying Till I hit the higher ground Sammy Figueroa, um, I didn't know that he was in Florida. Uh, I knew him in New York as uh, this premier uh, percussionist, Latin percussionist. And uh, I met him through um, 
My partner at the time was David Spinoza, and uh, the few times that uh, we'd be with Sammy, Sammy was just so funny. Uh, it, it was, you know, don't have a drink in your mouth because you'd spit it out. He's, and he, of course, he's still the same. And he's this marvelous player, and he's worked with everybody. Now he's in Florida, he has his own band. He's two times, he's been no nominated for a Grammy. And, um, and here I'm thinking about percussionist and I found out that Sammy's here and he was very very happy to hear from me and very excited and I said I know you're probably busy but uh, we put this band together and I really need to add percussion uh, he was into it he was definitely going to do it I said you know what Sammy I want you to do what you do I'll write a couple of little guide things but basically you you make it happen. On percussion from Miami, but from New York. Two time Grammy Award nominee, my friend Sammy Figueroa. Oh, come on, Mark! On drums, center stage, Mr. Mark Griffin. To some kind of wonderful. And of course, Mark on, on the drums, Mark Griffith. Um, he could play such great jazz. He was working with uh, Jaco Pastorius, and I'm thinking, boy, I wonder if he's going to be able to pull off the, the rock and roll. We're going to talk about some straight-ahead rock and roll drumming. Take us higher to some kind of wonderful, yeah. Some kind of Yes, she is. On bass, Nikki Orta. Nicky Orta on bass. Nicky has a, a discography and people he's worked with as long as your arm. Just a wonderful player. Most bass players play with four strings um, and some will play with five and Nicky plays with six. Just as, as funky as, as you can imagine and a great reader and a great personality. Just enjoyable to be around. Oh, we're gonna have a little fun now. Good, good old rock and roll tune. You remember this one. I didn't know Bob Taylor, um, but Martin said, you're gonna love Bob Taylor, and he was right. Bob was a local, and I, I didn't know his work, but you know what's interesting? The way he voiced things on the piano was the way I heard it, and I was so grateful. And little things that he did, you can hear in the concert, um, just exactly what the, the songs needed. Georgia, Georgia. No peace I find Comes as sweet and clear As moonlight through the pine I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce this amazing, amazing band behind me. Yeah, poor Bob. <laughs> um, yeah, that was not worked out. That was not planned. I'd like to introduce the horn section for you. Let's start from the bottom up. Oh! That's because I was playing piano. And forgot. Oh. That was an actual oversight. Bob. Yeah, everybody gets it. Bob Taylor, everybody! And I, think it was, uh, I think it was Martin who yelled something over to me. He forgot about Bob. And, uh, um, you know, well, it happens. I just want to celebrate another day of living. I just want to celebrate another day of life.